Late night in a town that goes to bed early, one DJ sits alone in a seaside radio station. 30 seconds until you're on air, reading your live lead. Well, practically alone. There was the producer. Ooh, it's hard to ignore that guy. The DJ's heart began to race because in just 17 seconds they'd be on air. Is this a lightsaber, bro? 13 seconds wait, wait, wait. now. I mean, I get a straight. 11. I got a radio show to host. 7. 4. 3. 2. 1. Hey there, Not Owls. This is Taylor serving it up with some of the best music out there and a dash of the rest. That'll do. I've heard worse. The show's off and running now. Let me play a record real quick. Let's play... Hey, I was so transfixed by your performance, I missed the last call that came in. It went to the answering machine. Can you check it? Lonely River. Hey, uh, Taylor. You don't know me, but... I I think you're supposed to help me. Uh, I know that sounds weird, but I'll leave kind of these, uh, these premonitions, I guess. Uh, and I was trying to ignore them, but what if they're important? <laughs> you know, so I thought, okay, I need to act on these clues I've been getting, and I need a sign to confirm it. Then your show came on, and you said, this is Taylor. And my middle name is Taylor. So... I think you're my guy. I'm gonna keep listening to you for more clues, so you just you keep doing your thing. That guy reminds me of some of the crazy people I met at AA. This town attracts nuts like a cashew convention. Okay, that's a new one. Could be so sweet. Uh, we, we're all we're so complete. Okay, here. Uh, the current of my love flows straight to you what the hell from is a he river doing? of love. That's all so true. It trickles inside, down inside my heart, like the pretty little stream in my trailer park. <laughs> Rapids of desire, so wild and free, carry us away where we want to be. Where we want to be, we want to be alone, like waves on an ocean, all our own. Lonely river. Hurry me away. To Penelope. Don't want it. Hate it. Okay, hey, uh, I'm heading to the Skookum River first, but I don't know what I'm looking for or how much of the river to search. Plus, there's like, I don't know, three or four other rivers in town. If you've got anything more specific for me, I'm listening to everything for clues. Bon voyage, weirdo. I can't believe he thinks you're leading him. Oh. I told Alice her kid wasn't allowed in here. You can thank him for that. Maybe it's not that weird. Doesn't feel too different from all the people who think God's leading them every time a coincidence happens. <laughs> As if everything in their life is carefully orchestrated by some invisible laser pointer in the sky. I'm not angry. I just I wonder if they're really convinced or if believing in God is just more comfortable for them psychologically. People think atheists are against God or against faith and belief. But I'm not. I'm not an anti-theist. I'm an atheist. I'm not angrily trying to disprove God. I just think if God does exist, it's his job to reveal himself to me. I don't need to go searching for him under every rock or, you know, in every coincidence. What? Did you know Rick from The Morning Show and Alice are an item now? I never wanted any kids. I didn't want to settle down. Strange thing is, my life settled down without me. I wanted to be able to travel or eat out or stay up late, but I don't do any of those things anymore anyway. You're on air. So, you know, I never married or had kids. I'm not sure I'd do it any different now, but I guess some of the guys I know who had families seem less lonely. You're on air, dude. 
what are you hey, talking about right now? Hey, I don't want you to misunderstand me about the family thing. I'm not really lonely or anything. I can always get a dog, but I don't really want to deal with all that pet stuff. I mean, everyone settles into their life, I'm sure. But I think that Put on Penelope. I don't want to hear this bullshit. I'm a fucking idiot. I used to think the world was big and mysterious, like anything could happen. I could change the world, impact people, live a life of purpose. But now, I know that's just the immature ramblings of someone who hasn't experienced enough of life to know it's meaningless. I don't None care. None of it matters. Today looks like tomorrow, looks like next week, next month, next year. There are no surprises left in life. This is me, my little existence, and there's nothing bigger or more meaningful to discover. This is all there is. I don't care. I, I don't care. I really don't. I really don't care. Stop talking. Because you are getting on my damn nerves. Penelope Bustin, though. Look at this, man. This song is crazy. Cleanse us one last time. But now we're going crazy. You hear this shit? That's right. I don't know this song, but this song is going right now. Penelope, and I don't know what the song's called, but it was a good song. <laughs> we'll put it that way. Do you remember what life was like before? Utopi Tech, Eagle Eye Glasses? Lame, mostly. Well, life just gotten even cooler with Utopi Tech's new monkey vibes. You interact with the world like you're a telekinetic robot monkey caught in a futuristic fever dream. It's so bad, bad isn't good. Not like bad and bad, but good bad. You want it? Utopia Tech on Highway 4 wants you to be a tester in the Monkey Club Beta Program. Call 555-4313. Get, get out of my way. See, I got a commercial now. What? What now? We're required to run an emergency broadcasting test today to keep our license. Only, we don't have all that newfangled, fancy, schmancy equipment you had at the station you came from. So, I need you to record the message yourself. Just turn to the white script, hit the record button when you're ready, and read it. <laughs> Super simple. Even you can't screw it up. Even you can't screw it up. You know, you're kind of condescending and I don't like that. You're really annoying what you say. Just saying. This is a test of the emergency Hey, wait, broadcast. I just thought of something hilarious. Maybe try to do it kind of robot-y sounding. You know, like mechanical machine voice. I am a robot talking like a human. I'm tired of this guy. Oh, and um, where it says beeps, just read those two. Our sound effects board is on the fritz, so really put some oomph into it. You know, like beep, beep. <sighs> Are you going to let me do the commercial Sorry, now? just one more thing. Don't feel tied to the beeps. Put your own spin on it, like... Wah, wah, wah. Or, ooga, ooga, or, neener, neener. You're not funny. Feeling. You're not funny. I don't like that, and you keep interrupting me. I'm supposed to be doing an emergency broadcast here, and I'm on the air having to tell you this. I don't like it. So stop. That was inspiring. Don't you go leaving me to take a run at an acting career now. <sighs> now, I, Man, me... this job is boring. 
Want to take a few calls? Let's go ahead. Go ahead. Whatever. You could ask listeners it to call in the most ass. interesting thing Let's they've go. ever found. I'll have the clock count you in and tell them the best call this hour wins two all-day passes to Pinata Pete's. This game, this game is just, <laughs> this, this game is making me mad because this damn dude in the other room keeps talking. And I can't even do this commercial and it's recording. Look at this. This is so bad. And it's on air. This is fucking fantastic. This is fantastic. Let's retry recording this again, shall we? This is it. Hey, sometimes that gets jammed. Oh. Let's finish this up first and then you can try it again. We've got what? some calls coming in. I'll patch them through to your phone. Whatever, bro. Most of the time they want to talk, but always hang up before you give your thoughts so they can't argue back. You're Just on then, the DJ remembered that whenever anyone takes a call, they typically begin with a standard greeting like, Hi! Or hello. The DJ thought for a minute about getting really specific and saying, This is Taylor. You're on air. What's the weirdest thing you've ever found? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. What's up? It's your boy. Oh, Back. I'm on air? Cool. Well, I'm a beach comer. I have a metal detector. On, she's chewing I go in my ear, bro. She's chewing Is in my she ear. eating something? One morning, I found a case with a clue on it. It said something like, finding you is like finding a needle in a haystack. What's out the window? So, I mean, I figured it out. I'm real good at puzzles and stuff. I went to Haystack Rock, and there were all these candles and flowers and a shovel with a note. And the note said, say yes. So I dug there, and I found a jewelry box. <sighs> the what was in the jewelry box? was the most expensive thing I've ever found at the beach. Oh, yeah? I sold it, and I bought a nice boat. Wow. People are so stupid. I'm wow. actually calling from the boat right now. If you don't believe me, watch the sky over Haystack Rock. Is that Haystack Rock? <laughs> huh. She shot you a flare. see that? It's because I'm on a boat. Can you believe her? <laughs> that is funny. What's up? Next caller. Go ahead. Raccoons are being tortured. I can hear them out there oh, every night by the oh. old tech building. Sorry, I tried to pre-screen the calls. Yeah. She told me a story about finding herself. I tried to hang up on her, but she slipped through. Oh, yeah, that was bad. That's bad. And you have it on air. So bad. You're on air. Who are you? So have you seen that show where people bid on storage units that are put up for auction? Yeah, I've, I know what you're talking about. Storage wars. Yeah. There's these people who buy abandoned storage units when the owner is defaulted on their payments. I can't believe they can do that. These are people's personal treasures and stuff. Auctioned off the guys in tank tops and gold chains and stuff. Are you anyway, one of those guys? I went to one. An auction. And I, I wasn't wearing a tank top or anything, but I did win a unit. Good for you. Got it real cheap because this one was sight unseen. They didn't let us look at it. Actually, I made out pretty good. There was like a thousand bingo daubers in the unit. And my aunt plays bingo. She's like really connected on the bingo scene. So I had a hookup. I sold all of them. <laughs> the rest was gravy. Some troll dolls, little Some homies, Hello Kitty collectibles, that type of stuff. Yeah, it was a gold mine. I still got 45 wigs I'm trying to get rid of. All the same style and color. If someone wants them, uh, tell them to make an offer. Here, I'll, I'll give you my phone number. It's uh, cut them off. No phone numbers. Never let them give out the phone number. <laughs> You're on air. Who's next? This has been a crazy night. What's the weirdest thing you've ever found? Yeah, thanks for taking my call. Uh, okay, why are you pausing? Yeah, so I'm a driver for Uber. Been needing the extra cash, you know. So anyway, one night, I found this briefcase that someone left in my back seat. I thought it might be locked, but it was unlocked. 
so I opened it to try to figure out who it belonged to.